Bob Crane was an actor famous for being the star of the popular 60s television show Hogan's Heroes. However, he was also notorious for his bizarre private life that may have led to his mysterious murder in 1978, which also remains unsolved. The whole situation has led to a number of documentaries and pop culture jokes. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you, thank you very much. Ah, oh, you're lovely. I haven't heard that much applause since Bob Crane premiered his home movies in my closet. <laughs> One of the more interesting retellings of his life is the 2002 movie Autofocus, directed by Paul Schrader, the writer of Taxi Driver and Raging Bull. The movie begins with Crane, played by Greg Kinnear, trying to balance his mild-mannered family life with his acting career in the early 60s. He's a bit of a photography buff, why do we have shady magazines hidden in our garage? Those, those are, uh, you know, photography magazines. Gent? Caught? I'm a photo nut, Nanny, so... Nature Girls 1965? Mm-hmm. As his fame increases with Hogan's heroes, Crane starts to get more attention from women which causes him religious guilt, and at one point he has to visit his priest. One day on the studio back lot, he meets an electronics technician named John Carpenter, played by Willem Dafoe, who tells him about a new technology called video. You love VTRs. V VTRs? Video tape recorders? Mm -hmm. Magnetic coating, like audio tape, same principle, only with pictures. Huh. Carpenter starts to use Crane's interest in the video equipment as a way to lure chicks back to his apartment. Oh, let's go to my pad. You wouldn't believe this new equipment they sent me to check out. It'll blow your mind. They develop a friendship based on having sex with women, videotaping it, and then watching the footage together as entertainment. The rest of the movie covers the impact this behavior has on Crane's career. There could be a very serious conflict here between your lifestyle and your career. And how it affects his family. How many women are there? How yeah, many? Sorry. But also it explores the bizarre relationship between these guys who made sex tapes together for over a decade. What about me? You'll be okay. Well, we got a good thing going, Big Daddy. Why ruin it? You'll be all right. Oh, I say, I'm like Ann and Patty. You find a better deal and you just dump me. I'm sick of scoring broads for you, okay? There. I said it. You know how there's that song where Paul Simon says everything looks better with Kodachrome? Well, this is one of those movies where everything looks worse on low-quality videotape. It kind of reminds me of this other movie called Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer where these guys steal a video camera and make home movies of everyone they kill. What are you doing? I want to see it again. Anyway, Autofocus isn't a masterpiece by any stretch, but it's one of the few films to deal with such a provocative subject matter. And for that, I salute it. The lighting's perfect. Go for it, Big Daddy. I've got you covered.